Now, these patterns are actually a form of camouflage. It's dazzle camouflage. And plenty of people believe these extraordinary patterns actually protected Allied ships from Nazi submarines. In fact, that's what the science said at the time. But now researchers at Aston University in Birmingham have re-examined that data to see if these uh, amazing patterns actually work. Our science correspondent, David Gregory Kumar, is here. These patterns are quite something, actually, aren't they? They are indeed, Nick. These patterns in the studio have been created by our graphics team, but they're all inspired by these real images of ships painted with what the Americans called razzle-dazzle camouflage, used extensively in World War I and still in use on some ships in World War II. And it all came about because the open sea is such a strange place to try and hide. If you can't camouflage a ship by hiding it legitimately within its environment, perhaps you can conceal what it is that it's doing. So kind of hide the direction or hide the speed that it's travelling in, and that might be the, the least worst option. And the Allies believed it worked. In fact, one experiment actually said so. But at Aston University, they've been re-examining the data from that 1919 experiment by an engineering student called Leo Blodgett. Now, we sadly don't have a picture of Leo, but he's the only person to do a proper study of dazzle camouflage using tiny models on a painted canvas sea. So, imagine you are a U-boat captain. Here is your dazzle painted target. Now, these are all the patterns that Leo used in his experiment. And you want to know the boat's direction and speed so you can hit it with a torpedo. Dazzle camouflage can produce a sort of twisting effect, meaning the U-boat captain gets the ship's movement wrong and the torpedo misses. But... Today, vision scientists also know there's something else going on, something Leo didn't know about. It's called the horizon effect. A ship can travel up to 20 degrees either way, either away from us or towards us, but to our brains, it looks like the ship just stays going along the horizon here. This also makes it hard to predict the ship's position and to hit it with a torpedo. So how did Leo Blodgett do with his experiment? Leo overlooked the horizon effect and he also made a few mathematical mistakes as well I'm afraid. So we've straightened all of that out, performed a, a sort of an up-to-date analysis and found that yes uh, the twist effect was there but was much weaker than was perhaps thought back in the day. This new analysis shows had Leo known about the horizon effect, his results would have been pretty accurate, showing Dazzle did work, but not as well as, as was probably hoped. Sadly, improving technology rendered this dazzling bit of camouflage history redundant. Nick? That is really interesting and quirky. David, thank you.